can we use a component without ng module we'll see that in this video hi everyone this is subrat and you are watching fun of your stick please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet we all know that angular is designed as module based application or module based framework so where we develop different module combine them to make a full fledged application but now angular is twisting its way so now we have our own standalone components so what it means we can have a component without declaring it inside a ng module now you don't need ng module at all so there will be less code to write easy to lazy load easy to lazy load your component in the route and lots more we'll see all those in the upcoming videos so in this video today we'll focus on how you're gonna create standalone component and how you can use that in your application so here as you can see we have a simple angular 15 application just a bare application created from nginew i will go ahead and add a component and that i will declare the standalone so for that we can write ng generate component and the component name suppose is login and i will give the flag as standalone so we'll go to our login component and here in our login component.ts inside our at the rate component decorator we have two extra fields which is standalone it's true which means that my component is standalone and imports each the import like which we have in ng modules if you go to the ng module all the imports like you are using browser modules form modules different modules from another service that all you can import it here apart from that you can import another standalone component and use it inside and we're going to see that as well i think you guys know this the template url and style url similarly you can do this as a template string if you don't want this to be a separate html if your template is very small you can use that as well now i'll check how we can render our login component inside our app component our app component is a simple component it's not a standalone one so for this we need to go to the ng module and we can import here login component so what i have done i have just added the app login in app component dot html again to just uh, reconfirm i have added a login component inside imports which was not possible be before because we are declaring our component inside our declaration now you can use the component as a module and put that inside your imports and now we'll go and start the application so here you can see that app component login works so lo login works is coming from our login component if i go to html here this is a login works this is how simple it is now we'll see how you gonna use a standalone component inside a standalone component so we'll go and create another standalone component so as our signer component is created so we'll, what we'll do we'll use sign up uh, inside so we'll use login inside sign up so i will just try to remove this and use sign up component here as you can see i have forgot to keep the tag as a standalone so i'll go to login component copy this to tag paste it here now it's became our standalone component and here we'll try to import login component and we'll go to our html and here we'll add app login so as i forgot to add the standalone tag so the sign up component is added in the declaration that's why it's showing error because now our sign up component is a standalone component so we'll go here and remove this one first and as we imported sign up component and we are using login so we need to change that so our application is started now if we go to the browser and here if i just try to refresh we are seeing our app component using sign up component and sign up inside sign up component we have login works so this is what a standalone component is now you can ask me subrat if you have a standalone component now you don't need our ng module to bootstrap our application and all can we use our standalone component to bootstrap our application and the answer is yes you can create your whole application without any ng module at all so what you need to do we'll go inside our app component and make this as standalone component so we we'll go to our app component.ts just add it here and 
inside this as we are using signup component. So I'll just add that to our dependency. And now as our app component is a standalone component, so it will going to throw an error here. So we'll just delete that. Just for the sake of the video, I will just comment the file here. And now if we'll go to our application, we'll see an error because our application is bootstrapped by our ng module means our app module so to bootstrap our standalone component angular has given us a method and which is bootstrap application which is from our angular platform browser and inside this our bootstrap component which is for us app component so app component and i'll just copy this from here now we'll just comment this and if you save the application now if you we'll go to our page here we're seeing our application without ng module at all so that's the power of standalone component now think how it can be so it can be as modular as you can think you can create your whole application in terms of standalone components export them as a component so think like you have a button create that as a component and export that component to the whole application and as the standalone component will use your standalone component by importing them to their import array and they'll use it that's all and in our next video we will see about how you're going to lazy load the standalone component so please like the video and please subscribe to the channel so that you will not miss further videos so that's it for today we saw what a standalone component is and how you can use that in our application so our application will be more component driven rather than module driven and now it will be easier to share our component between each other and our life will be pretty easier because you have to write less code maintain less file so please like the video if you liked it please share between your friends family colleague we're going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye